Oh, pig tarpon! Hey, greeting shark of files. Welcome to the shark files. To kick things off, we're checking out some of my old fishing spots outside of the 10,000 islands for some of the best shark fishing in the world. Hey, we fly out of the ocean and into the sky. Hey, we ride to pillage your town of the incoming tide. Hey, we fly out of the ocean and into the sky. Hey, we ride to pillage your town of the incoming tide. So I've had a milestone on my bucket list for a while and I really wanted to check it off. So I called up a good friend and fellow sharkophile, Captain John Broussard of Shark Chaser Charters in Naples. We're gonna go check out an area I've fished quite a bit. And I know there's a lot of big sharks in there, so we should have no problem finding an eight plus footer. Along with this mission, I brought my dad and my brother. My brother, by his own admission, is not a big shark fisherman, so it wouldn't be hard to get his all time best. And I bring my dad because, you know, he likes shark fishing with me. The wind's kicking a little bit, so we decide maybe going offshore to our uh, usual spot that we like to hit, you know, some of the near shore wrecks, probably wasn't the best idea. So we decided to stay kind of in the protected areas of 10,000 islands. It's got nice moving water, so the chum kind of goes far from here. Um, kind of the skinny's out here, so I kind of get them like an hourglass um, figure get them in the in the narrow part sure enough didn't take long before that drag started going zoom. Okay. Okay. didn't take too long did it no. <laughs> Beautiful. this wasn't a massive shark by any means but it was really special because as we're pulling it over the edge of the boat we realize it's already got a tag in it we got excited I've never been on the boat when we've had a recapture the recaptures are what makes this tagging program successful. You can find out where it's been, how much it's grown, and how long, and kind of track a lot of different things. It's very important to science. It's been a little quiet, but we're just starting. So we made the decision to go a little farther out towards the Gulf, because we know in the backwaters, while there's a lot of sharks, there's got a better chance of catching the big one that I'm after a little farther out. And we set out and we wait. And we wait. And we wait. As we're sitting here, we realize there are schools of mullet everywhere. And we keep seeing off in the distance the large apex predators, the tarpons, the dolphin, and the sharks are just going crazy on this giant school of mullet. But they, ha they don't want anything to do with our baits. So we decided to switch things up a little. And Captain John breaks out his cast net. Now that we've got a live well full of mullet, we change our tactics a little. And of course, it didn't take long before we got our first strike. And boy, did it strike. Oh, oh, oh tarp! Oh, is it bull? Yeah, this was another first for me. I've never seen a bull shark completely breach out of the water. I've seen them come up and you know wave their pectoral fin, but to actually come fully out of the water, that's just a behavior I've never seen with a bull shark. At least not one as big as this one was. But having seen it right off the bat, we knew it wasn't going to be my eight plus footer that I was looking for. So I let my brother handle this one because it will probably be his biggest ever. Sure enough, we get to the boat. It's a 56 inch female and uh, it's the biggest one of his life. We put in the tag and off it went. Hopefully one day I'm gonna recapture that shark and we'll be able to find out where it's been, how big it's gotten, who knows? It might be somewhere in the Bahamas. I'm up in the rotation. Next one's gonna be mine, and I'm hoping it's a big one. Oh, oh big tarpon! Oh. Tell me you're recording for that. I was. As soon as I grab the pole, I see the breach. But it wasn't the shark I was looking for. This was a big tarpon. And he gets a good solid five feet out of the water on his first breach. Unfortunately, that was enough to spit the bait. Come on. So at this point, the wind's starting to pick up a little. We're getting a little tired. It's been a long day. We decided to just call it a day. There'll be another chance for my big one. I have a feeling that'll be another adventure.